Hi everybody, it's Lindsay from The Craft Studio and I'm so excited to bring to you a bright and fun and cheery craft today. Uh, your friends and my friends too, they're awesome, at the Playroom have put together a package of all the supplies you're going to need to make this awesome balloon craft that'll take you up, up, up and away with happiness and fun. Yay! Okay, so you should have a white piece of paper. You should have a bunch of pom-poms, and maybe yours are different colors than mine. Don't worry, maybe they're different sizes. You're gonna love this, it's so fun. It doesn't matter the color or the size of your pom-poms. And then some glue, and then some markers to kind of create our background. The first thing we're gonna do though, guys, is we are going to put our glue down. Now, the picture is gonna turn into a bunch of balloons that are up in the sky. So first, I'm going to do a bunch of dots of glue. And I'm gonna show you guys this in a second. Pom-poms are heavy, so you wanna make sure you make your glue really kind of thick. And that once you stick your pom-poms on there, you let them dry really well. So I will show you this. This is the glue thickness I'm talking about. It's a lot, but we want it to really stick. And then go to town. You can do maybe some big ones. You can just do a, you know, some small ones. Whatever sizes and colors you have to work with, that's great. Maybe you wanna do just a couple colors and do a pattern, like you're feeling like you really wanna do maybe blue and purple only, and you have that those colors to do that. Go for it. I love balloons. My kids love balloons. You can probably hear their voices in the background. Don't they just make you feel like happy and fun and cheery? So this is why I thought this would be a great craft for today. Um, I'm going to do only all these like bright neon colors, I think. I think I'm going to not do any of the pastels. And I like to try and make sure that I don't have the same color next to each other. Um, so I'm going to try and do that just so there's some contrast. Like sometimes when you have two oranges or two yellows next to each other, they don't pop as well. Um, but sometimes it can be hard to do. Like right now, I almost just put two oranges next to each other. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna stop, but if you wanna do more of a large uh, balloon bunch, you can totally do that. Now here's where this project looks so cool. What you're gonna do is you are going to make it look like your hand is holding them. So you're gonna take um, your fingertips, and Noreen is filming this for me. Noreen, you tell me if you could see this. Can you see like what mm -hmm. I'm doing? Yes. And in the corner of the paper opposite the balloons, I am just gonna trace a few of my fingers like that. And then I'm gonna kind of just draw where my nails are to make it look more like fingers. I'm gonna separate my fingers a little bit. Again, remember guys, there are no mistakes in art and perfect is boring. So if your project looks different from mine, don't worry. Here's my favorite part. Coming from the pom-poms, you're just gonna use your same marker to make it look like it's string coming from each balloon. And even if you like think that like, like this yellow balloon is, is blocked, the string is blocked up high by these ones, I'm gonna still have a string for it coming down below. Look at how cool this is. And it's like your hand is holding a bunch of balloons. And then you can get fun with your other markers. I had them pack a yellow marker for you and out of one corner, you can do just one line to make the sun fill up one corner. And then you can go back to your black and I love doing the outline of rays in black and then coloring the yellow around it. It's really fun and makes it look like the rays are shooting out, like almost like little lightning bolts in between the black lines or squiggles. And then what I also like to do is we have the green in there and I'm just going to do a bunch of little lines for grass. Maybe you want to do a couple flowers. You can do a couple lines, draw some shorter lines on there for leaves. And then you can use your yellow or your blue marker and you can do a circle for a flower. Maybe you want to add some flower dots in the grass. And then it might be fun to kind of give your nails some color. I like that. And then also with your blue marker, I think it's really fun to make it look like there's birds flying in the sky. So for that, I do, and I'm gonna show you, a letter V, like that. And you can put that kind of all over and it gives it perspective that the balloons are really floating in the air. 
Yay! Look at how fun. Maybe you have a, a, enough materials left over that you can make a second one and experiment with it. There's so many fun things you can do with pom-poms and markers and just glue. And this certainly makes me feel happy, like I'm going up, up, up and away with happiness. Thanks guys, and I hope to see you all soon. Have fun getting crafty.